Hey guys, I'm on the OBX. What is the OBX? That's kind of a slang uh, three-letter statement uh, word that we use here in uh, Mid-Atlantic uh, for the Outer Banks of North Carolina. This is a beautiful place to be um, for operating portable because I'm surrounded by salt water. Today, as the weather's getting nicer, you can see I'm also surrounded by people. So I'm going to keep experimenting with an antenna I built recently. It's called, uh, I'm calling it the Coastal 20. And, uh, and days like today are the reasons I, I, I'm trying to perfect and, uh, and play with this antenna because it's, it's basically a kind of a small vertical uh, off center fed mini dipole. I don't know, it's the best thing I can say about it, whatever. But um, what I want to do is, um, if you can see too, it surfs kind of rough. A lot of people, you know, guards are on the beach, everything else. Um, so today would be a good day to, to put it up for the very reason and the very, um, you know, thing I built or designed it for is to see if I could um, make some context. Now today the conditions are really not that great. It's another reason why I'm just like, hey, you know what? I'll come down here, throw this thing up and see if I can make some context. I'm not stressing out so much. If, if it's not a big day, hey, look, I'm on the beach and it's beautiful. And, um, and I'm just gonna have a good time. So let's, let's see what we can do today. Stick around. Okay, here's the day set up. I'm in the city of, uh, or the town I should say, of Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina. It's right in between Kitty Hawk and Nags Head, if you're familiar with the geography. And as you can see, Quite a few people here. Why I'm not getting on it? A little bit different today. I uh, brought the one-to-one -one pallet with me, but uh, I didn't bring the connectors. So uh, the BNC connectors for it. So kind of doing something a little bit different. There's the uh, seven-meter VX Commander pole. The upper element is 17 and a half feet. The lower element is three feet. And uh, this, there's no science to this. I just winged it. That's what we're going to call an ugly bow. And I, ripped, I wound upon uh, one of my other uh, surf rod holders. And there you go, the surf rod holder in the sand. We are going with the uh, Zygu G90. And I have right behind that bucket a uh, 6 amp hour 504 battery. All right. This is a ham radio on the fly. I really came out here today with the intentions of building a 5 8 wave vertical for 10 meters. 10 meters absolutely looks like it's not happening right now here locally. So I said, okay, this is what I designed this antenna for. Let's go have some fun. Hey, I'm on the beach. You can see too, the uh, counterpoise wires into the surf today might have been a little bit of an issue as well. All right, let's get on the air. What I didn't mention there is I only had my four to one un, un with me and not the nine to one un, un that I normally use with this antenna as I designed it for a nine to one. But um, I did find that SWR was actually better on 15 meter band, but not as good on 17. I kind of lost the 17 meter band with the four to one at which I could work with the nine to one. Using my Zygu G90's internal tuner though, this thing would work just about every band from 20 to 10 meters Although 10 meters was just dead. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Kilo 4, come back. Yes, Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Got you here, 5, 6, step up. Car number 0, 0, 2, 8, 5, 0, 0. QSL, QSL, you're 5, 6. I'm portable on the Outer Banks of North Carolina. Same to you, 73. Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar, portable. Kilo 4 Oscar Golf, last letter. Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar. Uh, QSL, QSL, I am portable on the Outer Banks of North Carolina today. I appreciated the call and thank you for the call on the 20 meters. 73 is all the best. Thank you. 
AQ, the Florida QSO party. CQ, the Florida QSO party from Whiskey 9 Mike Echo Tango in Polk County, Florida. Kilo 4 Oscar, Golf Oscar. Uh, kilo 7 Oscar, Golf Oscar. Uh, kilo 4, Kilo 4 Oscar, Golf Oscar. Let's see if I got it right this time. Kilo 4 Oscar, Golf Oscar. QSO? QSL, QSL, you're 5'9 to the Outer Banks of North Carolina and portable, 20 watts. Oh, wow, well, you're 20 watts are doing the job. I'll give you a 5'7 into Polk County, 57 in Polk County, Florida. And thanks for the call this afternoon. K4OGO from Whiskey 9, Mike Echo Tango. Hey, thank you so much. 73. 73. Yours is for the Florida QSO party from Whiskey 9, Mike Echo Tango in Polk County. Well, 20 meters is wall to wall Florida QSO party. Go to Victor Lima. Uh, Victor Lima. Oscar Mike to Victor Lima. Oh, okay. Oscar Mike to Victor Lima. Good evening. 59 Sierra Alpha Radio. Yeah. 59 Oscar Mike. QSL, Kimmel 4 India. Crazy. Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar. Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar, 59 Cuba. Uh, QSL, you're 59 and 20 watts portable on the Outer Banks of North Carolina. Well, not exactly a stellar day at DX on the beach, but hey, we made some DX contacts and that's really what it's all about. Hey, um, you know, I'm kind of wishing I had had some nice elaborate vertical with my uh, counterpoise wires down into the ocean and all that good stuff but I uh, came down here with that idea it's just too many people and too much going on and uh, it's getting close to that time of the year and kind of why I, I'm really looking I don't know if this is the answer I'm gonna play around with this tweak it some more but uh, conditions were just horrible today so I'll, 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 I'll put that in there but uh, really looking for something that I could do maybe I'm just gonna have to get a larger pole and make a nice resonant vertical dipole for uh you know uh, higher I mean, or i should say lower bands I and mean, i can do that for 10 meters with my uh um you know with, with my antennas and what have my poles but uh, i i really got to figure it out uh so i can sit this far away from the water and put something up without a bunch of uh uh counterpoise on the sand here too because people were walking all over top of me even up here while i was up you know i had uh the beach patrol coming by on their four wheelers and what have you so little tough um, you know, I've been getting a lot of uh, emails about this antenna, about uh, loss in the coax and all that stuff. Look, this is not, I, I, this is not, I'm not touting this antenna as the end all be all. I'm touting it as a compromise that I can just throw something up. And I did it today. I winged it. I did, this wasn't the plan today to come out here on the beach and build this antenna. It's something I could just do to get on the air and have a little fun. I mean, let's be honest, um, you know, people send me emails and with calcs and tell me how the signal loss and everything that's going on. Look, this is a $500 radio station, not a multi-million dollar broadcast station. I'm just having a little fun and experimenting with wires and, 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 and seeing what will happen. So that's what this was. And uh, today, exactly, uh, you know, I got some good signal reports when I got out. But all in all, the band conditions were horrible. And uh, I still made some contacts. And... Uh, and you know, I know uh, Sugar 51 David X-Ray. He's a, basically a super station in Europe. If you can't, uh, if you can't get through to him, I mean, you're really struggling because uh, the guy's got great ears and uh, just a great antenna system over there. So it's kind of cool to make that contact. But um, all in all, I could have stayed on 20 meters and worked the Florida Cuso party all day long, but um, yeah, nah, I didn't want to do that. Just. Um, <laughs> Uh, it's cool, but I was here. I'm on the beach, and when I'm on the beach, I want to work some DX. Anyway, not complaining. I'm on the beach, and that's what it's all about. Anyway, until next time, I'm Walt K4OGO. 73, my friends. See you soon.